While snow remained on the ground, the month of March kicked off with Mainers enjoying the last of the powder with a gathering of riders on Vintage Snowmobile Day. People enjoyed it. It rained last year. We did it anyways. We got twice as many this year. The month also started with a jury conviction for Brewer resident Ronald Harding, who was charged with manslaughter over the death of his six-week-old son, Jaden, after it was ruled he shook the child to death. It was also a time for mourning after the sudden death of beloved Holden Police Chief Chris Greeley. Greeley pioneered the town of Holden's 25 Days of Kindness tradition and was known by many for going above and beyond the call of duty for his community. The, the impact he had was just phenomenal on everyone he touched. Um, nobody forgot him. Chief Christian Greeley, Holden 500, we have the watch from here. Lieutenant Eddie Benjamin was named the new Holden police chief and was determined to carry out Greeley's legacy. He was a father figure to me, so I was lucky to serve by his side for almost eight years. In an emotional ceremony, community members also said goodbye to Penobscot County Jail Administrator Captain Nick Hardwick after his sudden death in March. You brought so much to our office, and you were a big part of making us better. Soldiers were welcomed home in Bangor by loved ones and the governor after 10 months overseas. Couldn't be happier. It's, it's a day that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. And many put on their best green attire in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is all about fun, friends, and tradition. 20 Maine state senators and 76 state representatives co-sponsored a bill by Governor Mills to expand abortion access in the state of Maine. It's shocking that there's no, there, there's no reason. It's abortion up to the moment of live birth for no reason. Abortions don't happen without a reason. Um, there's uh, very deep and personal decisions. Dispatchers were celebrated for their work as April 9th through the 15th was National Public Safety Telecommunications Week. I think that we are the transparent piece. When people call us, they know that they're going to get the help that they need. Connected shootings in Bowdoin and Yarmouth left four dead and multiple people wounded. 34-year-old Joseph E. of Bowdoin shot and killed his parents and two of their friends at their home in Bowdoin before making his way to I-295 in Yarmouth, where he shot at multiple cars and sent a father and his two children to the hospital. I accelerated until I couldn't hear him anymore. Uh, pulled the car over and just tried to do everything I could to help my kids. Hi. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden made an appearance at Southern Maine Community College as part of the Biden-Harris administration's Investing in America tour. This is exactly what he uh, put the money in for and a freight train derailed in the Sandwich Academy Grant Township. The Maine Department of Environmental Protection estimated the crash caused 500 gallons of diesel fuel to spill into local environments, sparking an environmental concern for the area fish and wildlife. Fuel spill that close to the lake is it's a big concern. The Easter Bunny made its return as an organization held an egg hunt for the homeless to help those in the Bangor area experiencing homelessness. As the state continued to tackle the housing crisis, lawmakers discussed legislation that aimed to create more affordable housing across the state. An ER rate or waiting room is not a home, nor is a shelter floor, a jail cell, or under a highway underpass. And April ended on a clean note. Volunteers dusted off their rakes on Earth Day as many participated in annual cleanups. Take that opportunity on Earth Day to get out and do something outside that makes an improvement to whether it's around your own house or some other place in another community. Follow along this week as we continue to take a look at 2023 in the Pine Tree State. In studio, I'm Grace Blanchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.